Machine quilting added a whole new dimension to the art of quilt making. What would have taken weeks and days now could be accomplished in a much shorter time. There are actually very few quilts in the collection that are machine stitched. The sewing machine that would have made this particular stitch for this quilt is called the Grover and Baker sewing machine. And it was patented by two tailors from Boston in 1851, William Grover and William Baker. And this is their original patent model of their double chain stitch sewing machine. The Grover and Baker sewing machine booklet from 1853 says, it is a time saver that our invention is valuable. It accomplishes in six minutes what it used to take a skillful seamstress an hour to do, and it does it better. It never sleeps, it never tires, and it never misses a stitch. In this time period, they were going in the parlor, so they really wanted the machines to be elegant. They wanted them to look like a piece of furniture. Part of what was interesting reading in the seams of the leading sewing machines are the testimonials, one of whom was Mrs. Ulysses S. Grant. And she says, it affords me great pleasure to bear witness to the excellence of the Grover and Baker sewing machine. I have had one in my home for some two years. And from what I know of its workings and from the testimonies of many of my friends who use the same, I can hardly see how anything could be more complete or give better satisfaction. Sewing machines were luxury items, but they became a necessity. And by the 1870s, the sewing machine was well-established throughout the world.